Hi, my name is Basti, and I can do this now. <laughs> While using the mods, isn't that cool? So we can now actually explore stuff with some wonderful shaders. And look at the city now with the shaders on. It's It looks amazing. Pose, really vibrant, looking good. And I realized something we never did last episode when I built all of this stuff is I didn't actually show you what it actually looks like up there. Look. Oh. Oh. Maybe there's a reason for it. I see now that I forgot to build a door, which could have been kind of useful to have in there. Well, uh, sometimes, you know, things get ahead of you and, you know, can't win every time, okay? This one has a door and this upper floor is completely fine. It is beautiful, in fact. And what is this? Did I? Is that, is that intentional? That is intentional. Good news, everyone. That is intentional. You know, so we we're ba basically done. We need to make a door up there, but I will do that in a cut between stuff. You won't ever see when the door appears. Just like the raid farm. It could be moved now. Is it moved? Have I moved the raid farm? Probably not. But I could have. You wouldn't know until you see it in another place or not in the background. The same with that door. It'll just be there one day. One day it'll just be there. Keep an eye out. Keep aware. Otherwise, you'll miss it. That's the way we do it on the Basti channel, huh? Not really. I, uh, where was I? Intro, 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 intro. What are we doing today? Well, we're not using shaders for one. We can use that for showing stuff off. But not right now. Because we are about to embark on a journey. Well, isn't every episode a journey? Yes, that's why I say it almost every episode. The plan for today is, uh, could you guess it? Some building on the Basti channel? <laughs> yeah, I know. But we're also doing some redstone. Ooh. And probably a bit of an adventure. But first, let's start with today's building adventure. And today we are fixing up this boring old stock looking villager fishing kind of thing. This is looking very dull, very boring, very, you know, standard vanilla. Very not a basti build, you know? So first things first, let's remove these houses. Yeah, you know what? Let's start with a time lapse. And you know what I can do now? I can do time lapses with shaders on. How cool is that? Do you want one? Do you want do you want shader time lapse? Do you want a shader time lapse? Would you like a shader time lapse? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Well, I don't care if you want one. You're getting one. Here you go. <laughs> This is looking absolutely awesome. And just like my personality, it's completely empty and void of anything interesting. Ooh, self burn. Those are rare. <laughs> Man, I suck so bad. Anyways, it looks good. It looks ready for the next step, which is, I don't know, building, I guess. But before we get into that, there's something I would like to direct my attention towards. So join me back in the city. Okay, so I know I said city, but you know, there's this contraption that I really want, that I really need to continue on building on this project. It's going to save me a lot, a lot of time, and that is some kind of super smelter. We all know them, we all love them, I don't know how to build them, but I'll fix that soon. The first part is, where should it go? My first thought, and the thought that made me say, join me in the city, is that I wanted it in the city. But I'm quickly realizing that I'm probably not gonna have space for it. But, I don't know, should we let that deter us? Maybe, yeah, actually. Yeah, I think so. I think the logical place for this super smelter to go is right here somewhere. In our actual farm area. And there should be space somewhere around here. Let's check. Well, not here. 
Uh, well, apparently I've, I've, I've messed up. This is not gonna be a good spot either, is it? Huh. I kind of wanted the chest to be like right here or something. To have like the fuel chest right here, the input chest right here, and the output chest like somewhere around here. But I, that, that might be hard to do because, well, there's not much space here. First off, this water edge is really close. And second of all, there's some freaking moss farm down there. Oh, I didn't think this through when I built this, did I? Huh. I have been thinking. And I think I've come up with a perfect place for this. Well, uh, well, a semi-perfect place, at least. I think the super smelter should go right here. So, this would be the fuel chest, this would be the input chest, and this would be the output chest. And we mark it with signs. And then, it goes right down there, and it should drop a little bit of a waste, because they need to get under here. So the super smelter area will be right in here. I suppose there will be some kind of trap doorway to get down to it somewhere around here. And, uh, yeah, that's the way we're gonna have to do things. Because, well, I didn't think about it when I actually built this place. Unfortunate. But we'll work with what we got, and I'll just dig out a little space for it right here, and we can, I guess, get to work on it. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do it. All right, people. A hole has been dug, and it is deep. Now, all we have to do is build a super smelter in here. The thing is, I like redstone, and I like puzzle solving. The problem is, I'm not very good at redstone. I'm pretty good at puzzle solving, though. And so, I like trying to make my own contraptions. If I have no, like, idea, then I'll look it up. But, like, I can probably make a super smelter, right? It's probably pretty easy. It's probably so easy that all you have to do is... Step one, put down a line of furnaces, like this. After that, you better surround all of those cooking utensils with some hoppers. On all but one side. The top hoppers are supposed to face down into the furnaces. They will supply the items to be smelted. The hoppers on the back side should also face inside towards the furnaces. Those are for the fuel. The hoppers underneath will take the smelted items and shoot them all the way down to a chest. Once we have all the hoppers in place, we put some rails on the mother truckers. And then we send two hopper minecarts racing down both of those rails. Back and forth and back and forth, delivering goods to all the nice furnaces around the world. A real Santa cart of this super smelter. Once the Santa cart is in place and barreling down the rails, we put down some chests for the hopper carts to pick items from, and we do some hopper lines all the way up to the top, where we can deliver the system with some fuel and something to smelt. And so, all we need now is a way to get items back to the top. And to do that, we put a hopper line from the output chest, leading to a dropper tower. A dropper elevator, if you so wish, that leads all the way to the top, to the output chest. And with that done, we'll send it over to Live Basti, who will guide us through the final part of this whole contraption. So, take it away, Live Basti. Thank you, voiceover Bastian. May I say you're looking absolutely beautiful today. Well, anyway. So, this is the chain in its entirety. I put items into fuel. Fuel go. Do, 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 do. Into fuel cart. All the way down this furnace row. Then I put things to be smelted, like ore or potatoes, mainly. And they go and go clunk into this minecart with a hopper Whoosh. and then this minecart hopper supplies all of these furnaces with lovely potatoes or ore to be smelted and they go and smelts all of the things and then they go into this hopper line down here and into this output chest right here there's nothing in there, because I haven't run this machine yet. I don't know if it works. It's purely theoretical at this point. <laughs> so, from this output chest, they go into these hoppers, go whoop, 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 
and into this dropper. Then this comparator says, Oh my lord, stuff! And it goes, Weep! Weep! All the way to the top. Got it? I really should make redstone tutorials, shouldn't I? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's test fire this bad boy. I've loaded it up with some fuel and we should be good to go. I even went as far as to gather something to cook. We shall be making some beautiful baked potatoes today with our beautiful new machine. So, in theory, I just put stuff in, stuff comes out. In theory. And believe me, I already see some faults in this system, as many of you probably do as well, but this is a growing project, you know? A redstone system like this is just not something you build, it's something you evolve over time. So, I'll probably now and then update you on the cool stuff I've done with this thing, and how I've upgraded it, and how I've upgraded all of the farms. You know, when I do an upgrade, I'll tell you guys, unlike when I moved the raid farm which is gonna happen. So, enough dilly-dallying. Let's put some potatoes in here and see if we get something back. I have two stacks and 55. Let's smack them in there and hope that two stacks and 55 come back. Now we just let them cook and see what comes back. All right, people. The super smelter has been smelting and cooking and we have all the same items we put in. 55 and two stacks. This thing is working. Awesome. So now we have a super smelter and we can use this to our benefit in lots of ways. This is actually pretty cool. The one change I'm probably gonna make to this at some point is that I'm gonna have to make a system to stop the minecarts to reload because that's gonna give a better spread of items across these furnaces. At some point this is going to be a problem and we're gonna have to fix it. And I will get to it. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Now let's go do something more fun, shall we? Hello and welcome back to Flatland, people. The place of hopes and dreams. The place where we will soon have our little fishing hut. This is going to be like a dock kind of area where you can park your fishing boats and go out and fish from the docks, you know? Have a good time just chilling with your rod in the water. Watching for fish. Slowing things down. Awesome. But first we need to build it. And I think the first thing I'm gonna tackle is uh, a way to get here. Of course we always have this way, but in the future the town is gonna go up there as well. So we want a way to get up here. And as you can see, that's not really possible right now. I can jump here however much I want. There is no way I'm getting up there. So what do we do about it? Well, we could always try to build one of these. Now in Sweden, we like to call these trappor, or as you might say in English, staircases. And they tend to serve as a perfect way to get up and down from places. At least places with a lot of space and not too high elevations. It's, it's a really great tool, these trappor. But, you know, you could look at this and think, they're not that pretty, are they? But that is only because you're looking at it wrong. You know, what you need to do is pull out your building glass and have a closer look. And you might find that it's actually quite beautiful, actually. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is starting to look like something. It's a staircase. Trappor, because everyone needs some help getting up once in a while. Cool, what else? What else? What else can we build here? Well, maybe like a, a dock thing? A dock thing would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's do one of those. Okay, so it's supposed to go like right out here and probably extend something like there. You know what? I think this could work. I think this could be a really cool thing. Maybe it'll even look a little something like this. Awesome, right? Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Look, it's already looking so nice. Now that we got this dock part here, and everything is starting to look really, really schnassy, I think we could do a little bit of a time lapse and put down our first building here. Yeah, seems like a good plan. All right, let's build our first building. Time lapse in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this is starting to look like a much more pleasant fishing location. Wouldn't you agree? And the building itself is really, really sweet. Of course, it's not completely done. It's still missing a few details, but we'll get to that. And as you can see inside here, it's like a kind of a shop kind of a building. I imagine from here you can rent your fishing rods or anything you want. Maybe rent a boat for the day. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Want to rent a boat, you know, that kind of stuff. And up here, we've got a little area where you can sit and have a coffee, maybe. Talk about all the fishing you've done. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a cute little fishing shop, kind of. Look, that is so nice. Of course, there are still things I need to fix, like this stuff shouldn't be here. We still need some kind of road to get past this way. And this area here is looking kind of empty, but we'll get to it. Don't worry. That is all coming later on in this episode. So hang on and don't go away because we got a lot of cool building left in this episode. But first, I am journeying for an adventure and there's some place I've been wanting to go for a while. Now, before I go out, here's a fun little game. Can you tell where I'm going just by looking at my hotbar? Huh? Well, it is related to what we're doing here. That's right, we're going fishing. But not any kind of fish. I'm looking for the real big fish. The laser kind of fish. The kind of fish you don't really catch with a rod. You catch them with a pointy stick, <laughs> a bunch of doors, some milk buckets, and a lot of effort. I have I haven't conquered a I haven't conquered an ocean monument yet. And as I've been going around flying all over the place, I've seen at least five or six ocean monuments around this place. So I thought, hey, why don't we tackle like one or two of them and see if we can't get some sponges and maybe even an armor template from the Elder Guardian. So let's get to an ocean monument. Ooh, this is looking promising. And our first order of operation is setting up a small platform where we can have a bed so we can set a respawn point in case we die. Dude, can't shoot me. Ah, he could, he could shoot me. We have a respawn point. We're good. We're good. How do you do this now? Well, normally, not like this. Ah, you know, that's, that's to be expected, actually. That's that's completely within the realm of possibilities. This is not going well so far. Uh, hold on, let me gather my things and we'll get back to you. Oh, there's so many now. Oh, there's so many now. Oh my lord, I am dying again. And after getting out of the sticky situation and some near misses, we finally get our things in order and are ready to enter our first ocean monument. Let's get into this place now. Okay, this is looking bad. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh man, this is gonna suck so bad, isn't it? Something interesting to note here is that I don't have Depth Strider on my boots. So I'll be moving about as smoothly as some ice skates on sandpaper. Before I'm doing the next one, remind me to get Depth Strider on my boots because this is going to be painful. So after those unpleasant surprises and revelations, we're finally ready to conquer this monument. Do these guys have thorns on them? Okay, got one. Now, if any of you haven't done the ocean monuments in Minecraft, it's basically a maze puzzle. But it's Minecraft, you might say. Just break through the wall and get done with it. Well, it's not quite that simple. You see, in these monuments, there are three Elder Guardian, and each of them give you some mining fatigue, which makes it really, really hard to break through blocks. So in order to get the goods from this place, you need to defeat all three of the Elder Guardians to then be able to mine the blocks you want. Luckily for me, I found the first guardian really easily. Oh, there's there's the boss. I found him. I found him. Hello, I'm here to take your life. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, that's so easy. Too easy. So after breezing through our first encounter, it's just a matter of finding the other two. Uh, well, this is gonna take a while. And so, then I just swam around in the caves, looking for stuff, and I saw some pretty interesting things. This is a thing. Then, eventually, I even found the second boss. We've for sure been here, because there's a lot of dead fish around. Oh! Here's the boss! I found the guy! 
And he's also stuck. Unfortunate for him. Unfortunate for me. Unfortunate for him. Whee! And so we defeated the second boss as well. Pretty easy stuff once they're stuck against a wall. One more boss. That's fine. We can we can take him. We can take him. I believe shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we're pretty tough guys, aren't we? Tough guys indeed. But we still need to find the boss. And luckily for me, that proved even easier than I could have imagined. I don't know where that boss is. I am not too familiar. Oh, right here. He's right here. That's where he is. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck like this? Oh, come on. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, man. That was that was close. That was close, I have to admit. But that I think that's it. Whew. So, first ocean monument completed. Now, we just have to find the treasures of this place. And we should be good. All I had to do was just loot around the place. Finding all of the sponge blocks and the gold blocks. Fortunately for me, this ocean monument was pretty easy. Even though I didn't have Depth Strider. So, let's get out of this place. And the best way to do that is just... Wee -wee 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 get up on top of here. And then... Uh... uh pfft. I suppose die is a good option right now. I do want my stuff here though. So if I could have these things, it would be pretty nice. Get! Thought you could get me? Why are there so many of them? Get out! I'm off. Success! We got out. We got out alive and we got the stuff. Now let's put some stuff away and go do that again. This time with Depth Strider. So hold please and I'll go get myself some enchanted boots and we'll try this one more time. I'm back and I have Depth Strider 3 now. Look at this. These are some fully nice boots and we should swim at least a little bit faster now. Which could be helpful in avoiding these, what do you call them? pests of the ocean, let's call them. This time I'm gonna park a little bit further away and make my platform a bit away from that. Let's put away our stuff that we don't need like that. Most of this should be all right. I do need a bed up here so we can set our spawn point in case we, when we die in there. Oh, I could put that on actually. You know what? That's probably a good idea. Let's put away our elytra for now and put on our full netherite armor. It's been a while since we had this on. I don't think I've worn it since, like, we made it. But now, it should serve us pretty well. All right. I'm ready for a fight. Let's go! Okay, so, we get in fast, we get out fast. That's how we roll. Get in quick, get in quick. Oh, we're so much faster now. Look at them. They don't have a chance against us. We're so fast. Okay, cool. This is actually pretty good now. This should be much simpler. That's easy. Whoa, Dolphin's Grace! Holy, you get speed from that! We got that guy. Good stuff. We got him. Let's get the stuff. Awesome! That is second ocean monument completed. And now we can just find the shroom rooms. The sponge room. It's kind of tempting to call them mushrooms, because in Swedish, the word for mushroom is the same as the word for sponge. So if I get them mixed up, well, you know why. And you learned a bit about Swedish. This is a lot of Swedish knowledge for one episode, huh? Even learned the word trappor earlier, which is kind of sick. It's a good word to know. Pops up in daily conversation often. This is the gold room. We kind of want that. Awesome. All right, it's been a little while. I've looked through this temple very thoroughly and I can with confidence say that we've got robbed. There is no sponges in this temple, which is a bit sad, but you know what? We gave it a good go and we did get three Elder Guardian Skulls. We did get three wet sponges. That's fine. That should bring us up to a full stack of them. I mean, I got more gold blocks. And you know what? We could grab some more sea lanterns on our way out of here. Because I... Whoa! <laughs> Forgot about that. Could be a good thing to remember that you're going to speed of sound. This way. Thank you. Where's my boat? Oh, of course it's on the other side. Swim! Swim, damn you! Swim! Oh, there's my boat. There's my boat. I parked right there. I can see it. 
Success, everyone. Success. We have actually made it out. And look at that. Kind of a nice view of the city so far. Not much so far, but you know what? It's growing. Imagine when all of this is the city. That's gonna be a cool sight. Let's put down this shulker box and see what our haul is. See, 64 wet sponges. That is actually pretty decent. That is a decent haul and I am happy. I am actually pretty damn pleased with what we got. This was a very successful mission and I'm so glad I actually got to do this now. Let's head back to our building project and see if we can't make some decent progress. Welcome back to today's building project. And right now I feel like we should maybe put down some more building stuff. Like maybe a small house right here. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like this. So we got another building in here and it looks awesome. Okay, so we got one building in. Now, we need to do more stuff. And I think the rest of this would look pretty awesome to do in a time lapse. And let's finish this place off with a bang. We put in all of the details, all of the terraforming, all of the everything. And this place is going to be looking pretty dang schnazzy. So third time lapse of the day, three, two, one, go. Welcome to Baits and Bites, our fishing cafe by the lake. And it is looking absolutely beautiful. I even added some of these small details in the water. It might be a bit much. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. I'm pretty happy with what I've done here. I am super excited about these boats that I made. I don't really do vehicles that much or haven't done any of them before. But these are my first actual vehicles I built. And I think they look pretty awesome. I mean, you can at least tell it's a boat, right? Right? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. You, you, surely. It's, it's in the water. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a boat. It's a boat. What else could it be? Anyways, in here is our big shop, our actually bait and bites. And what do we sell here? Well, here you can rent your fishing equipment like fishing rods and so forth. We're gonna get more of an interior in here at some point. You can rent your rods right here, or maybe order a little bit of a bite to eat, or a warm drink to keep you warm on your fishing adventures. If you don't want to rent a rod or a boat and go out to sea and drink your coffee, you can always go to the top floor where we have some nice little seating where you can eat and drink your coffee and fish in peace. This area is so cozy right now and once we tie it together properly with the whole area back there it's going to be so awesome just walking around this place 
and I'm super happy about what we accomplished in this episode. I mean, we got this whole area built. We got a super smelter. Kind of need some improvements, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And we even raided some ocean monuments without dying all too many times. It was a few times, but that's fine. You're supposed to die when you enter those, I think. Yeah, probably. And so, with some successful building behind our backs, and some beautiful adventuring, or, or maybe the other way around, it is now time for me to say goodbye for this time. I would like to say thank you so, so much for watching, and you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode of maybe not Basti Place Minecraft? We will see. Only time will tell. Stick around and you'll find out. Anyways, love you all, and I wish you have a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until I see you next, bye!